It's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be an air sign love reading for the collective. This is going to be for Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. It's going to be a love reading. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. Thank you for being here. Also, subscribe to What's the Chat of LaRasha, where I do the treasure box readings with the names, the situations that we go through as being feminine and masculine energies, divine feminine, divine masculine energies, and the different type of counterpart relationships. Um, don't uh, miss out, out on that. Tune in. Um, if you haven't tuned in and the, for the ones that have been, uh, rolling with the homies with me for a while, thank you for, uh, supporting me in this channel and any of the other channels that I have and anything that I do. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, this is going to be for air sign. Okay. So air sign love reading for the collective air sign love reading for the collective air sign love reading for the collective Air sign love reading for the collective. 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 Hit different is playing in the background by SZA. So uh, you water signs, I mean, so I don't know, I said water sign, I just did a water sign video, but some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign that feel that you hit different. If it's not a water sign, it could be you just being in water energy, um, but air energy is, excuse me, Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini, somebody could be seeing you um, as energy as far as somebody who you hitting different when it comes to uh, other people. Okay, so we have a uh, air sign. Love reading for the collective. Air sign. Love reading for the collective. We have the, the five of coins. So this represents energy as far as when it comes to abandonment. So there could have been some abandonment. Either you air signs or you could have left your masculine or feminine left feeling abandonment. Abandoned or they could have left you feeling abandoned. We have the queen of coins energy here. Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo energy here. You got the... Seven of uh, wands, and then we got the two of cups. Okay, so either you air signs left a earth sign feeling left abandonment. Um, when you have the seven of wands, this also represents energy as far as being uh, cautious, like defending yourself as well. Um, with somebody else. So either you air signs, if you left an earth sign feeling abandonment in the past, or you this is a situation that happened from the past, somebody could be wanting to come back. You have the two of cups. They see friendship here. If they don't see anything when it comes to you, if it's not love, they still see you as their friend. You could be a little bit defensive when it comes to this masculine coming towards you because, again, this person left you feeling abandoned in a time. Um, or she left you feeling abandoned at time. If this is an earth sign woman or if it is a woman, it does not necessarily have to be an earth sign. But it could have been somebody that was um, also with the five of coins. They could have been putting money into another situation. 
are the only time that they will come present themselves is when they want money is what I just heard. You got Virgo energy, the hermit energy here. So you could have put your your guards up because there could have been abandonment when it comes to money, repayment of money or a masculine only comes around when they need money. You have, like I said, hermit energy. So you got MIA energy here, this masculine right here. This character, you know, he always mysterious. This motherfucker right here, sneaky as fuck. Always got a plan up his sleeve. You got the Empress energy. So somebody definitely was seeing you as a, an asset. Financial stability is what I'm getting here. But they could also, like I said, see you as a friend if there's anything else. But you got a Queen of Swords energy here. So you know, you call bullshit when bullshit, you see bullshit. This masculine knows that you will cut him off real quick. You, he knows that you would also put up your sword and defend yourself when you need to defend yourself. Because again, that's the reason why the Seven of Wands energy is here. You could have cut off communication with this masculine. Let's say if there was any money that was owed, they could have felt like they didn't have to pay you because you loved them or that you, they, you were always a friend or... You know, like whatever, some one of your masculines could have been looking at that that way. But again, you do got Queen of Swords energy and the, a uh, Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles. So this definitely could be an, uh, a cusp energy, which is Capricorn slash Aquarius, Taurus slash Gemini, and then uh, 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 Virgo slash Libra energy here. Okay, when it comes to uh, cusp energies, you do have Virgo energy here. So Virgo slash. Um, Libra for sure could be a uh, Virgo slash Libra could have been definitely uh, involved when it comes to a certain situation and the cause of you being abandoned or a, a water sign. I, I keep hearing water sign. There's a water sign that's involved as well. Okay, so that's why I possibly I say water earlier, but there's only air and there's earth energy here. So you got the three of cups. So there was possibly a third party situation, but somebody could be wanting to come together as well as far as celebrating. So this masculine could be coming in and communicating that they want to go out or go celebrate somewhere with you. You do have a queen of cups. So there is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. Or you could be this one woman, um, air signs, woman. There go your energy here that could be, you know, harnessing all three of these um, women. But at the same time, I feel like this masculine possibly left you abandoned because he was dealing with three different energies that possibly was giving to him. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. Could have put your defenses up. Let's say if you knew your masculine was juggling you and that's the reason why he was leaving you abandoned account of other women. You got Leo energy. So there could have definitely been a water sign and a Leo that could have been an involved, which could have been a threesome situation. Your masculine could have had a threesome with a water sign and a Leo, a Cancer Pisces as well as Scorpio or with an earth sign and an air sign or an air sign and a water sign. It's some energy like that. That's what this masculine did. That's why this masculine left you abandoned is what I just heard. You got the world card energy here. So you got uh, the world is earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. So let's say if this masculine is burnt out on threesomes or burnt out on this situation with these other two women, there's judgment that is being done here um, that's getting called. As far as when it comes to, like I told you, uh, off with somebody's head is what I just heard. Somebody's getting, if somebody set somebody up or paid for somebody to be abandoned, or if there was any type of setup when it comes to two women scheming something um, against one divine feminine, they're going to be, they're out of there, bro. You got the five, you got the one, two, three, you got the eight of coins and the three of swords energy here and the ace of swords underneath there. got leo energy here so uh air love reading for the collective air love reading for the collective air love reading for the collective 
We got the Queen of Wands. So you got Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. So there could definitely have been a Leo that could have been involved in another situation. If it's not Leo, it could be another fire sign. Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. There definitely was sleeping and intimacy here was that was done. Somebody definitely could have been trying to poison either you, air sign, or your masculine or feminine. A Leo or a fire sign could have tried to poison you or a water sign. And they getting ready to get judged for this. Somebody needs to watch what's in their cup. You got death. This person is trying to poison somebody because they know you the star. And when it comes to this masculine's life, so somebody, there could be a, a fire sign that's getting ready to get caught up. Hmm. They trying to poison you. Something could be happening to them. So it says Aquarius. Uh, 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 didn't mean to say Aquarius, but we got a Knight of Coins, the Sun card which also represents Leo. And then you got the five of wands. All this was reverse. Mm. There's definitely a uh, competition energy here and they're trying to eliminate the other by poisoning them or mm. I, I hear poison. There was something about a poison situation or right, somebody could have schemed a threesome in the background. We got air energy. Uh, so air love reading for the collective 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 mm. too many cards two of wands wanted to fall out so i'm going to take it so you got temperance energy here and then you got the emperance energy here i feel like somebody uh, is threatened by an empress two women are threatened by threatened by an empress where they have to double team so it could be two women against one or three women against one is what i'm hearing from this because this emperor and this this empress belongs to this emperor and this emperor belongs to this empress and they know that they are the divine counterpart and these could be the other three women that could be involved in sabotaging either poisoning you and your masculine or getting your masculine set up for Failure with taking part of threesomes with somebody else. You got death. See, yeah, somebody getting ready to get judged. Death. I just heard death becomes her. Mm. So, let me make sure these cards are upright. So this song right now is Can't Let It Show by uh, Tank. So somebody could have definitely could have been holding back their emotions on how they could have felt about you. They was not allowing it to show on the surface. Okay, so we got air. Um, love reading for the collective. Air. Love reading for the collective. You got Aries slash Taurus. Taurus slash Libra. You got temperance energy here as Sagittarius. So I told you somebody definitely is seeing you as a divine counterpart. This empress is seeing you and their emperor. You have this emperor energy coming out and then you have death. I feel like there could be an ending to a fire sign relationship or a Scorpio relationship or even a Sagittarius. But there is a definitely an ending to a relationship. The only card that's reversed is this queen of wands. So it could be an Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. Somebody that if somebody did pay attention to the red flags... It's cautioning you. I feel like don't drink something from a fire sign woman or whoever this woman is. If they are trying to scheme up your masculine to do a three a threesome or something, he need not to drink whatever he getting from these women. So we got air sign. Uh, so we got free yourself. So somebody, I definitely feel like getting ready to escape from a certain situation. It's time to take. It's time to take back control of your life. So somebody's definitely getting ready to take back control of their life because there's judgment that's getting ready to be um, given, right? And it could be leading to somebody's death. This person could, the, with this queen of wands being reversed, it could mean somebody, you know, no longer having life in their, in their vessel. The passion died out. The spark is gone. And that could be physically. One more card. We got children, so there's childish behavior that was either involved or, again, this could be 
uh, 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 baby mama, baby father. Again, I felt like somebody was more on immature energy when it comes to them. Let's say if they were being a bachelor, bachelorette, they were dealing involved with multiple women, multiple men that led to this type of situation where somebody felt like they needed to be overly possessive, where they were making threats or even willing to, per you know, even willing to, you know, if I can't have you, nobody can energy. That's what I feel like this woman is on or this couple was on or these group of women were in and they probably came to a, a pack of, you know, taking your masculine down or taking this feminine down and um, uh, 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 trying to poison somebody. Child could be involved in a certain situation. It says your love life is being affected by children. So somebody's child could even be involved or their mother or their father could be involved or either a brother or sister in this masculine or this feminine is not aware of it. So it says air uh, sign reading for the collective air love reading for the collective air love reading for the collective air love reading for the collective but I do feel like two people came together to team up on one, this emperor or this empress. We have safe place. So somebody's going to be going to a safe place. You got life partner energy underneath there and you got higher self underneath it. But I feel like somebody's seeing you as a safe place. They could be going to freeing themselves from a certain situation that's no longer serving them and going towards you because they see you as a safe place. It says there's nothing like being able to let your guard down and know that you are protected by your partner's love. I feel like somebody possibly did put their guards up to either the baby mama, baby father, their mother, their father, or this woman that they was involved with. They're ready to put up, you know, spend quality time with you. So somebody wants to spend quality time with you they're escaping from a situation that's no longer serving them and going towards you um it says in this masculine could be in childlike energy is what i'm getting from this too when they come towards you um so it says quality time means putting away the phone and clearing your brain of anything distraction distracting so you can to ensure that your partner is your number one focus so letting go of you know um, uh, putting up cell phones you know not letting children distract you okay you're going to be spending time this emperor and this empress is going to be spending time with one another and their children possibly could be you know not you're not letting the children distract you from spending time with this masculine you're going to free some time up to spend time with his masculine or he could be doing that about his kid children if he has children and i'm going to go ahead and end this reading um make sure you like subscribe comment as well as share and thank y'all for being here you have a great day